Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. After last week's uh, Grafana installation video, I promised you that I will show you how to connect Grafana with AWS EC2 CloudWatch, which we are going to do in this video. It is really easy to do that. So um, we are going to get started right away. If you followed my previous week's tutorial, you will have your dashboard here. You might have already added a data source if you figured it out on yourself. Um, if not, we are going through the whole process now and I will show you exactly each and every step on what is necessary to establish a connection. All right, to use Grafana with AWS CloudWatch, you first uh, need to be aware of that there are three ways on how to achieve that. It's a little bit complicated with the first method, which is using the R number uh, of the IAM policy that you create for it. I actually didn't figure exactly out I mean, I know how it works, but it's 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 fairly complicated uh, to implement. So I haven't looked into that uh, yet deeply, and I've chosen the method of using a credentials file, classical method. But the best practice uh, practice is uh, definitely to use the uh, ARN uh, authentication with um, an automatic template recognition. Uh, I will cover that in a later video, but as I said, uh, we are going to use the credentials file method in this video. And uh, there is a third method, which is the probably most unsafe method is, which is to enter your AWS uh, credentials directly into the GUI here, which I will show you in a second. But the first thing we are going to do is we need to create a new policy on AWS. Uh, and therefore we are going to the AWS console and we navigate to IAM. To create a new uh, policy so go to go to go to go to policies in here and click on create policy and now we need to just need to find it here because it's very complicated and I have a written article on that already on the website which I will link in the description below so if you prefer reading then you can also pull that up next to you and follow through that uh, so select uh, CloudWatch as a service, which obviously you can just type in here. And then I think we need um, we need we need to do list metrics, if I recall correctly. Yes, list uh, metrics, and then we also want to have get metrics, get metrics data, and I think get metrics statistics. That should be it for the policy. Yes. Then click on review policy, give it a name. And I think I gave it, which name did I give it? So that you can later identify it. Let's check that out. I think I just named it Grafana policy. So you have list and read all resources and you can put a description if you want for that demonstration. I don't do that. I just click on create. Okay. Good, next we are going to create a role. So click on roles next and click on create. And then you select AWS service and you're gonna select EC2. And then click on next permissions. And then you're gonna search the Grafana policy role that we just created. So that's why I call it Grafana policy. Click on next review and give it a role name and this time we are creating a role so we call it Grafana role. Keep things simple, Grafana policy is attached and we click on create role. Right, we are almost done on the IAM part, then we go into users and we gonna and we gonna add a user. And we call the user how do we call the user? We call the user Grafana user, of course. And we give it programmatic access because we don't want to, it to have AWS console access. It doesn't need that. It does only need to have programmatic access. Click on next permissions. And then we are going to attach existing policy, I think, yeah, existing policy directly. And guess what we're gonna attach? We're gonna attach the Grafana policy to the user. Click on create user. Then we see the secret, uh, for this video not so secret, uh, access key, but uh, don't worry, I'm gonna delete all of that again after the video, including the instance. Uh, so you don't, <laughs> if you wanna try something, you can go ahead, but 
uh, it will be all deleted again. Um, important is to leave this window open because we will need it again in a second. All right, uh, let's uh, do the next step, which is attaching the policy to the EC2 instance. So we're gonna do that by going to EC2. So just open this here and just right click open a new tab because as I said, we need this window again in a moment. Go to EC2, go to running instances and then select your uh, EC2 instance like your Grafana. I make that a little bit clearer here. Uh, this is our Grafana server and uh, then you want to go to actions and you want to go to instance settings and attach replace IAM role. And guess what will show up here? The Grafana role. Apply. Alright, this needs to attach to your instance so Grafana uh, actually knows that you have access to uh, that you have access to the metrics. Okay, so I think that was this for that. Then the access key we already had. Let's double check that. Uh, 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 okay, then exactly. Then we need to go to our Grafana server with the shell and we need to create our credentials file and to do that we're gonna do sudo nano user share grafana and we call it credentials uh, this is the default directory that grafana will automatically recognize so it will automatically find this credentials file once you create it it was not very clear from the documentation uh, so this is very important that you put it in there Okay, hit the enter key and then what you want to do is, I just need to pull that up, I can paste that for you in the video description, then you can just copy and paste it. Um, so what you need to put there is default, I'm just going to type it because I didn't have it uh, to copy available, AWS access, access, double S, key, ID, and uh, space equals and of course uh, then we also need aws secret access key equals and then we put the key there one more thing you also put there region equals uh, in my case it's eu central one this is also very important you need to exactly specify the region where your AWS instance resides and I, I show you that in a second where I think maybe we can maybe we can see that here. Yeah, EU Central. So if you have uh, US slash uh, East Central, whatever, I just uh, use this value here. And here you also can see the availability zone, but in your case it's maybe US US slash uh, East slash one or whatever. So just adjust that. Accordingly. Good, and then we're going to do the obvious. We go back to this IM window we still had open, and we're gonna uh, show the access key. And I will just tell you this never show anybody these keys because if they know those keys, they might get access to your instance. So copy this access key, open the window, and by the way, you can paste with putty by using shift and insert. So make sure you have the correct values there and then also copy the access key. Where's my window? There it is. And shift insert again and then press uh, double check everything and press control O to save the file and control X to leave the file. Okay, then we need to uh, adjust the permissions of the file. So sudo chmods, I think 0644 should be fine. Credentials, uh, user, share, Fana, credentials. Yes, that should be good. All right. Now we are going to need to add the data source on AW uh, on Grafana. So go back to your Grafana server, click on add data source, type select CloudWatch, give it a name, AWS CloudWatch or whatever you want. Tick the default if you want or not. And then you can see the options here. So the first thing I said is the ARN, which you can put here. And if you figure it out, please happily let me know in the comments below how you managed to do it, because I was certainly not able to get it fixed within the short time that I had to uh, spend with this tool. 
and I would be happy to know that. Um, we're gonna choose the credentials file. Uh, the other method was the access and secret key and you can just paste those keys in here and paste the, uh, select the region, which I would definitely not recommend to do it that way. So the credentials file is safer. Uh, leave it on default location, choose the region, it's already specified, but choose it anyway. So maybe you don't need to, maybe you don't need to put it in the credentials file, but that was written in the, in, uh, in the documentation that I've read. And that's basically fine. And now, if we now click on uh, save and test, we should get a green message that the connection is successful. So let's try that. And the data source is working. Awesome. Okay, that went well. Uh, if you have any problems and you cannot figure out what it is, you can go to sudo cat var lock profana profana lock and open this log file and uh, read it. Or you can, if you just wanna, actually that's better, if you just wanna read the last 10 lines so your screen is not spammed, just put tail, which prints the last 10 lines and usually the last log entries after running those tests are only two lines or I think four lines long. So uh, that's a better way to do it. Okay, now that uh, we have that done, you basically can, I just demonstrate it to you now, I will not show you how to uh, make nice dashboards that will be uh, content for a different video, but I just show you that it's working. So um, go to go to go to go to plus dashboard to create a new dashboard. Select graph and go here to this paint title. Click on edit, and then you see your metrics. And your metrics. This can be all a little bit more um, beautiful if you are more clear than uh, when you do some uh, code work in the background, but you, you will figure it out very easy. You just click on default and you see already, okay, default that are the regions. So you pull up EU Central and then you see all the different services that CloudWatch offers to monitor. Uh, in this case, we want an EC2, but you also could select uh, various, I think maybe you can search AWS. Billing, yeah, for example, you can have very nice billing dashboards there too. But for this uh, demonstration, we're gonna use EC2, then click just here, and then you see all the metrics that are available. Just for this demonstration, we take CPU utilization, and then we need to do another thing. We need to click on plus on the dimensions, and we need to choose instance ID, and that we only have two instances, so one of them will be our running one, and that's that one, yeah. So you can see here, uh, the data is working. This is I just because I just spun that instance up. Of course, there is no history. If you would have a server that's running for a while now already, you would see the history here. Like it would be full of data, but of course it's not at this moment. So this is just to give you to play around some some material to play around that you can get started because this <laughs> even this took me quite a while to figure it out where to pull it up. If you don't know. Uh, if you never did that before, you quite spend some time searching for this shit. So um, this should be enough to get you started. And the available documentation is really good. So you can uh, look through that. But as I said, this is uh, material. And also click on Save Dashboard, of course, and just click Save. Uh, this is material for another video because it's very, very, very complex, uh, a very complex tool and takes a lot of time to learn. So, but this should be enough to get you started. Okay, so now that we have everything done in here, uh, have fun playing around with dashboards and creating dashboards. I will show you a few example dashboards in the next dashboard video. I cannot promise you when it will be released because it will take me a lot of time to create that and uh, show you how to create nice dashboards is a lengthy process. But uh, if you like this video, if you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up, please. And uh, also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit this little uh, notification bell thing underneath of my uh, underneath of the video, so that you get informed when new videos will be released. And usually, I release one video a week, sometimes two, if I get around to making more. Um, that's it. Have fun with Grafana. See you in the next one, guys.